Before you set your company goals for 2023, you should really watch this video. I've been thinking a lot about the last three years because I just finished off my three year 2022 Vivid Vision. So every three years, I craft the vision for the next three years of my company. So back in 2019, I leaned out into the future and described what my company, the CEO Alliance, would look like, act like, and feel like at December 31st, 2022. Right now, I'm getting ready to do the same for 2025. So I've already crafted the Vivid Vision for 2025, and now I'm putting the first year plan in place to make sure that I go after and hit that. So the plan incorporates some core goals. And the core goals for me always start with employee satisfaction, really what's my employee net promoter score, my customer net promoter score, and then I go into the revenue and profitability. I also have one big strategic thrust for the year as well. Thinking back to 2022, my big strategic thrust was adding a second salesperson into the organization so that I had a little bit more depth in the sales organization to really propel our growth and really focusing on building out the strong customer engagement of our members. And that was by adding a community services manager in onboarding our better members, giving them a better experience, making the, the startup and the CEO Alliance better. We'd have a longer renewal life with them as well, which would increase our lifetime value. So this year, if I lean out into 2023, the first year of my three-year Vivid Vision, the core thrust for me, first off, is my new book, The Second in Command. That launching is gonna give us massive brand credibility. It's really positioning us as the core thought leader in the COO space. There's tons of people that are far focusing on the CEO space, but the COO Alliance really will be the credible, larger, the world's really only organization like this of its kind for the second in command. So between the second in command podcast and now the second in command book, that's really gonna be the big marketing thrust for the CEO Alliance. So that's my big focus this year is really truly launching that book, unlike any other book I've ever launched, because in the past I've launched five other books, um, Double Double, Vivid Vision, Free PR, The Miracle Morning for Entrepreneurs, and Meeting Suck. And they're all great books. They all make great money. They all sell really well. But I never really put any big marketing behind it. And we're really putting a big thrust. So that's my big strategic focus for the CEO Alliance this year. The other big thing I'm focusing on right now is my customer net promoter score. So how happy can I make my members in 2023? And it's going to be by giving them some free offers. It's going to be by giving them better resources, by bringing in much better speakers than we had over the last 12 months, by really making sure that we're onboarding them better. And then we've also started up accountability groups. We've got about 19 accountability groups with five to six members in each one. And those accountability groups are building tighter and stronger relationships for our members as well. So really obsessing about making sure that our customers are much happier this year or as happy as we can get them to be. And really striving to get our net promoter score for every event in the positive 70 to 85 range. So that's my core focuses. Some of the disappointments from the past year, I think because I was traveling and moving around a lot, I didn't really have the good focus on our speakers. And I think I kind of use some of my, my network to bring in some speakers, but I didn't really raise the bar. And this year I'm looking to really raise that bar. So I think that'll be a strong one for us. And then I think I also just let the community start itself up with our community manager and the accountability group start themselves up. And I, I guess I overestimated the capacity of our members to understand what an accountability group would be and how they would run. So we're bringing in one of the core forum trainers from YPO and EO. Um, and he's actually going to be working with us behind the scenes to help make our accountability groups even better. So really thinking of the core pillars of the organization this year, thinking about what my core goals are going to be for the organization this year, and really driving to get our membership number towards 250 full-time members in the CEO Alliance. So we're really driving the YouTube channel, really driving the Second in Command podcast, really driving the book, and we're gonna be growing the base of our members this year by about 50% more than we even currently have. So those are our big thrusts for the year. And then I'll also be doing a debrief and a retrospective with my entire team, or we're gonna break down all of the goals for the past year, where we hit on the goals, where we missed on the goals, and if we missed, why we missed, and then also looking to course correct that as well. The other thing that we're adding this year is a full-time salesperson to market the course, and we're looking to bring on an affiliate manager to drive more of the course revenue as well, because that's huge passive income for us. It's great credibility as well, and people really love the course content. So really driving that over the seven figure mark as well. So check out watchcameron.com. If you're a COO or a CEO, you're gonna love all the additional value and the additional resources that I'm gonna be giving to you when you go over to that watchcameron.com. And then also make sure that you watch this video another time as well. I would probably watch it two or three times because I think you're gonna get some core lessons in there from what I've done and the way I'm thinking and how you'll be setting your goals for 2023. And then check out the next video as well.